Hey guys, welcome to the part 11 of Django ORM series. In this one, we are going to cover the Luca filters that is contains and I contains and how they work. So let's get started. So I have my code already checked out and we are going to start by creating a new endpoint. Before that, make sure you have watched my previous video because it is very important that we change our database from SQLite to Postgres. Otherwise, this won't really work. So we are going to start by creating a new endpoint and I will call this as lookup filter 2. So lookup filter 2 and this will be taking a first self request keyword arguments and keyword args. Okay and since this is new endpoint uh, we will have action and a detail will be equal to false and methods methods will be we are going to only take in get uh, actually this should be one indentation in because it should be inside the class and not outside the class so sorry about that and again over here we are going to extract the title from the query param so i'm going to say title is equal to request dot get dot get title okay once we have title in our hand and this is how the format looks like so model name that is post dot objects dot filter and since we want to filter it on title so i'm going to say title and underscore underscore that is two times contains contains this title and this will be query set and okay so sorry there should be two asterisks over here and after this in query set okay we need now serializer so serializer will be equal to self dot serializer class and in this one we are going to pass query set and many is equal to true since uh, there could be multiple records written by the query set and then we are going to return the response so return response and it will be serializer dot data and status i like to specifically mention sorry explicitly mention so it will be status dot http underscore 200 underscore ok so let me explain what this does so it will find all the title which contains the matching word that was given by the user in the query param okay so again it will find all the objects whose title contains whatever this title is that is given by the user in the query param okay and since it is contains it will be case sensitive so over here say if i give title as uh, post okay so it will match all the uh, all the objects whose title is this specific case okay and with this word so what i mean is all those uh, records whose title is capital p o s t it contains only those will be returned and say uh, say if one of the records is uh, contains small post okay something like this so that won't be returned so let's test this out save this run the server uh, i think i have put wrong yes I put wrong credentials so let me change my credential quickly so if we go to post and in extra keyword oh sorry extra actions we are going to check for this one right now it is coming as none because we have not passed anything we are going to check okay so first one's title is capital f-i-r-s-t and then post second one is capital this and new post so if you see all the three record consist of post word but only first one has small post and not capital like this so first we'll try the simplest one that is like uh, copy pasting the same thing so title is equal to first post and it returned us with this what is the use of contents it can check also half of the key so if i remove this and if i say only first it will still return me with that now say even if i remove these two it will still return me because it is matching these two words over here okay and now if i say change this from capital f to small f this will not return me any data because as i said it is case sensitive so it will be matching case so likewise if you try to match post over here say post we get only one because others have capital p over here and if i change this to capital p and enter then we get second one and third one this is because they are case sensitive okay so now let's check the i contains 
so i'm going to copy paste this and comment the old one and add i over here so it is same just the title underscore underscore i contains and what is the use what is the meaning of i contains i contains means insensitive contains okay so it will check for insensitive case contains so previously as we know it was returning us with only these two data right uh, because it was matching this uh, case but now if i say enter it will return me with all the three data because uh, now i have added in the code i that is like just ignore the case sensitivity it is something like that you can say so let's remember this as ignore the case sensitivity so now this is how i contains works and say even if i type small one it will still return me with all this data and it still works uh, even if we type like half of the word so if i say po it will still return me with all the data so that's it for this video guys i hope you have learned something new if you have make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and share and see you in the next one